Hey guys, final day of Sea Otter. All the media folks are a little tired and cranky, so come along. We're gonna get out of here and go see more from day four at Sea Otter. I need another coffee. Um, so this is the new 90 millimeter Rise RR raised reverse mountain bike stem. As you can see, it's raised up with then a minus 15 millimeter reversed offset. This one fits into a different use than the original 150 millimeter Rise, where this one gives a more engaged with the bar kind of feel for something that's a little more lively and playful versus the original one fits more into really calming things down with a much more controlled ride for if you're trying to go really fast or you're racing. So this one fits in more to the play side. All right, and uh, pricing and availability and where can they learn more or buy one? So pricing will be, uh, introductory price will be $400. You'll be finding it in the same place on my website at bemorebikes.com. And pre-orders will be starting soon. All right, and they are made in California, right? Yep, made in Covina, California, out of 7075 T6 grade aluminum, fully five-axis CNC machined in-house. All right, buddy, it's good to see you. I'm glad you're still trucking along with these things and excited yeah. to see the new one. Yeah, they're coming along. Right on, man, thank you. We're here at these SR Suntour booth where they've got an updated all-mountain fork. We're gonna have Darren run us through in 60 seconds or less. Go right, for it. Right on, so this is the updated version of the Oron. Uh, it has a hollow crown. We beefed up the stanchions to 36 millimeter. The uh, max travel is 160, but of course you can neck that down in 10 millimeter increments. Um, it has the latest edition of our PCS damper, which is a coil spring um, backed IFP. So you have low speed compression adjuster up top, low speed rebound on the bottom. The high speed are factory set, but tunable. Um, magnesium lower, of course, boost spacing and a mini fender that goes with it and our EQ air spring. So we also have an update to uh, the Dural X38. So we moved the, the stance out from 145 millimeters to a 151 pitch, um, updated uh, lowers, nice looking and very stiff and lightweight uh, SKF seals on this guy. And then the same RC plus damper that we just showed on the Oron. Um, so yeah, there it is, the new Dural X38. Why did you move the stanchions further up? For a, it's a, it's a basically increasing your pitch is going to build for a little bit better lateral stiffness. So it's like when you move from doing a push-up like this to out to here. So, uh -huh. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Hi, I'm Roger Hernandez, Ken Detire, Marketing Manager, North America. We're here at lovely Sea Otter this year, and uh, we're enjoying the good weather now. The sun's out, and we'll talk a little bit about our mountain bike tires. Uh, this year we have the Regolith in a new casing with updated rubber. It's the Regolith ATC and a pinner. This year for the pinner, we have a nice new light fast version for those down country bikes. Pinner Pro and SCT, very fast rolling. And then we also beefed it up. We have for the e-bikes and the big peddlers, the Pinner Pro ATC in a 2.6 version. And later this year, you can get them in coffee sidewalls. So you can have your coffee and your tires. Thank you. Ah, uh, gotta get my warm up. <laughs> testing, testing. Okay, 60 seconds. Darren here from Push. We've got our 9 1 front fork. It's finally a production product. Coil sprung with our patented air bump stop technology to control bottoming. It's available in 140 to 170 millimeter travel in 10 millimeter increments. The travel is adjustable uh, by the end user. It's inverted, it's built in Colorado, and it's amazing. Why is it amazing? The biggest thing is the inverted design allows us to really tune the chassis to give us uh, great small bump sensitivity, great fore aft stiffness, but some compliancy for turning. Uh, one of the big advantages is with this crown design, the tube shapes, the diameters, the tapers, the thickness, uh, the inverted design really opens up this ability to actually tune the way the fork rides. Um, and that's a big benefit to this particular design. Awesome, thank you very much. You got it. Who are you and where are we at? I am uh, Joey at RE Bikes and welcome to our booth here at Sea Otter. All right, so, so what are we gonna look at? We are gonna look at our aluminum line right now. So okay. we have a lot of cool projects coming up, uh, one of which being the DJ. Uh, we have a lot of really cool, unique things we're doing with this project uh, and we'll kind of show you a little bit more here soon. Okay. Uh, downhill bike you've seen, I'm sure, um, with Curtis Downs winning proving grounds on it. 
Uh, we have our racers out there on it, and Kyle Strait is going to be doing Rampage on that bike as well. So okay. a lot of really, really cool features on that, and we can do a deep dive another time. But uh, that kind of takes us to our Cascade. This will be officially launching here in about two weeks. Um, but what's really exciting is at this event, we took the Cascade aluminum frame, made a couple tweaks on it, and made a slalom bike custom slalom bike for Kyle Strait, Nick Nesteroff, Rachel Strait, and uh, and here this is. So he did a lot of different uh, geometry changes, optimized it for 27.5 wheels instead of 29. Now that thing's really cool and all, but how about this sweet yeah. green bike right here that we're giving away? Sign up, head to thelonewolf.com, enter to win that bike, and a trip to Costa Rica. <laughs> We've just stopped by the KS suspension booth where they've got a brand new wireless dropper. We're gonna get a quick run through the details. G'day guys, it's Tony here from KS. Uh, so this is our brand new KS circuit. It's a wireless dropper post connect with a uh, Bluetooth connection. And then we have the um, dimensions with 30.9 and 31.6. Travel from 125 up to 200. And then we have the largest battery capacity on the market. It's 450 watt hour. Chuck them in, just like that. Do a little test. Boom. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, so we're here at the Salsa booth and they're showing off their new 5999 e-bike. Can you give us a little run through in a minute or less, please? Absolutely, I can try. I'm Jill Nazir, I'm the marketing manager for Salsa. We're really excited to be launching our EMTB line this week here at Sea Otter. What you see in front of you is our Enduro EMTB um, called the Notch. We have two specs. We have the Dior 12 and the Q's 10. And what we've got on here is a Bosch Performance Line CX motor. So that's 85 Newton meters of torque. 500 watt hour battery. Um, travel wise, we have 170 in the front, 160 in the rear. And um, yeah, in classic salsa fashion, we also have it outfitted to carry the things you need for your ride. So right here, you'll see you can fit one water bottle, or it is also capable of carrying the Bosch range extender if you want a little extra watt hours for your ride. Perfect, thank you very much. Of course. We're excited to test them. I'm excited to have you test yeah. one. Thank you. Good to go. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I guess you never hit stop, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so um, we've done a major update on our bar and our stem. Um, version one was called the package, and you basically bought a bar and a stem together. We designed them together. They run really well together. Um, but we also wanted more people to experience what our bar felt like on its own. So we've re-engineered this sleeve, which distributes clamp force across a wider surface. And it's 35 mil, 40, uh, sorry, 54 mils wide. Uh, so you can run pretty much any stem that's 35 and up to 45 mil wide. Um, we do the bar in three rises, 20, 27, five, and 35. And the big thing that we did here is we changed all the internal layup to really reduce weight and increase strength in key places. So our grip areas are thin and we increase our layup over in this area and in the middle. Um, and we've created a lightweight DH certified enduro bar. Um, we've added some graphics to it, um, all your specs up here and your rise on the back. Um, and then we're offering <clears throat> refreshed stems. I can do that. <clears throat> in a uh, 35 mil and a 45 mil. The machine logo on the side, specs on the bottom. We make them in Kamloops in house from a block of aluminum. Um, so everything's milled, machined to our specs, and they come with titanium bolts, which is a nice touch. <laughs> um, and yeah, you'll be able to buy the bar and the stem separately, and then together as a combo as well. Right on. Thank you guys very much. Yeah, no problem. All right, we are here at the Tannis booth, and they've got a brand new dual kind of insert set up. I think he's going to give us a little run through in 60 uh, seconds or less. All right. So today here at Sea Otter 2024, we're here showcasing our new Tannis tubeless modular insert. We call it the Fusion. That you have a single light insert doubled up with our Tannis Pro insert. You can now run, you can tailor, tailor the insert to any style discipline 
mountain bike riding you're doing. So if you're a DH downhill enduro rider, you can double it up and have maximum protection. And if you have basically your XC gravel road, you can pull this out, pull this inner insert out and throw it in your road or gravel. We wanted to present an insert that could do it all across all disciplines. And so with the Tannis Fusion, we feel we've accomplished that and we can cater to more different styles of biking in the industry. And so awesome, man. we wanted one insert that could kind of do it all. And yeah, sounds good. Kind of it. Thank you very much. Awesome, Rob. Appreciate it. Well, then there we have it. Sea Otter day four is a wrap. Thank you guys very much for joining us. We got two new bikes for our EMTB shootout that we're driving home to load up for and heading east to Howler Bike Park. So stay tuned, guys. E-bike shootout is coming very soon. Thanks, everyone, who said hello. See you guys next year at the Sea Otter Classic.